the ones I really want to thank are the neighbors, the silent majority that backed us, that put up with everything. Because let's face it, this is their home. We can't. Jane was one of our early supporters, very positive, very polished, uh, very insightful, very curious about what was going on, very community minded, wanted to be responsible, make sure she got all the answers before she held a position. But I could tell from early on she liked the idea, but wanted to make sure this was right for her community, for her neighbors. Patrick. Patrick is a stalwart of the East End. He is an icon down here from his many years of devotion from the city of Cincinnati as a community representative. And he understood and saw the long-term vision and the value that Walworth Junction would create. And Patrick was a cheerleader behind the scenes and in front of the public. I think Matt was one of the first people that saw the true vision and the value that this would bring and was an early endorser of the project and was also very efficient, saying up front, this is a good thing, this needs to be approved, and we need to let them move on without us because we know that they know what they're doing and we support it. So Matt, I give him a lot of credit and I really respect the position he took and I appreciate it because he trusted us from day one. Sir. Jeff Sir. Jeff's the man who caught all the arrows. Jeff's the one who stood in front of everyone and said, I will take the message back and forth with the developer. I will be the bearer of the news. And Jeff handled it with grace, with dignity, and with honor. And he carried a message back and forth between us that allowed us to express in good faith what we wanted to do and accomplish. And he was able to deliver messages with the right tone and with enough information that we knew what we needed to get done to support the community. And Jeff was the one who did all the heavy lifting. We came into their neighborhood and we disrupted it. And we inconvenienced them. And the majority of them understood and appreciated what we were doing and they were willing to live through it and do so without complaining and for that. That's what we're really internally grateful and that's what makes the process and really the project a success at the end is that the people who have to endure it and do so with a lot of patience and a lot of dignity are the ones that my hat goes off to.